I like to help where I can, and I'm not a marvellous person myself, but if I can help somebody, I will. Ida Stonehouse was a recipient of the Royal Maundy money last year in Bury St Edmunds, in recognition of her many years of church and charity work. I have been a church member ever since I can remember. I can remember even being baptised. I was four years old and I felt very, very important when the cross was put on my head. Even at that age, that meant something to me. Oh, gosh, the day I got my letter, I looked at it, a big envelope, big white envelope, and uh, it had got ER, and then Buckingham Palace. And I thought, well, what have I done to deserve this, you know? But uh, that was how I felt. It was quite a shock, but very exciting. <laughs> I think it must have been about half past ten or sometime like that that we went to our seats. I can't quite remember now. And I was sitting in the side aisle, and as she came round the corner, I thought, my knees, <laughs> I had to stand up. Nope, they're perfectly all right. And as she came round the corner, um, it was a quite, quite an exciting moment. She looked absolutely lovely, absolutely beautiful. And you stand there and you put your hands like that. And then she put the Maundy money in my hands and she whispered congratulations and she looked me straight in the eyes. She looked at me with such friendliness, such warmth, as if she was delighted to meet me. And then she just moved on. Um, it's, it's, it's something very, very special. I was ordained in 1959 as a curate in Liverpool, riding my bicycle on the cobblestones, knocking people's doors, communicating the gospel and introducing them to the one whom I serve. This year, Reverend Roy Wilson has been invited to receive the Royal Maundy money in Derby Cathedral. I was doing a communion service somewhere and uh, my wife was waiting eagerly for me, me to return and she said, sit down, relax, I've got a letter of Buckingham Palace. I never ever conceived of this coming my way and now there's an eager anticipation of the great day. I'm a great believer that God uses these wonderful happenings to show us his love and uh, what he requires of us. And the verse I like to recall is, God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him has eternal life. That's God's promise. That's what God longs for us in our lives, to trust him, to know him, and to indeed receive him into our lives as Lord and Saviour.